Welcome to Read Alouds with Mrs. Na. So excited to be reading this book called That's What Dinosaurs Do, written by Jory John. Illustrations by Pete Oswald. When you're looking at this book, the cover of the book, which is the front of the book, tells you a little bit more information about what this book is going to be about. If you look at this picture, what is the dinosaur doing in this picture? In the illustration, or another word for illustration is in the picture, you see this dinosaur riding a bicycle. And it looks like if you look closely, you can infer or guess that the dinosaur is too heavy for the bicycle. I can tell that because of the cracks on the ground. I can also maybe infer or think that a dinosaur has crashed into the red fire hydrant because water is splashing up and maybe knocked over the trash can with his foot? What do you know dinosaurs do? Mm -hmm. I know dinosaurs roar. What kind of dinosaur do you think this is? If I had to guess or infer, I would think that this is a T-Rex. I can tell by the sharp teeth and the short little arms and the big head. That's what dinosaurs do. Hey, do dinosaurs go swinging on a playground swing? Hmm, maybe he does in this book. Let's find out. That's what dinosaurs do. Roar! How does everybody feel after this dinosaur roar? They look scared. Yeah. Let's see. At the playground and at the farm, he's going. Roar! Roar! Can you give me your biggest roar? Whoa, can you give me your biggest dinosaur roar one more time? How scary. This is probably what the children on the playground are feeling and the people at the bus stop are feeling and even the dog and the sheep. I can tell because everybody's facial expressions are like what? Show me what they're looking like. Yeah, they look scared and nervous. William had a really great weekend. But now, his throat hurt from way too much roaring. William went to the doctor. Okay, so the dinosaur's name must be William, but look what's in his mouth, you guys. <gasps> yeah, see a fishing rod? What else do you see? Bicycle and soccer ball. Should those things be inside of a dinosaur's mouth, you all? No more roaring for a week, the doctor proclaimed, and I mean it. Roar? asked William. Exactly, said the doctor. Don't do that. But how can I not roar, thought William. That's what dinosaurs do. Okay, so what do dinosaurs do? They roar. William was sad. Down distraught, depressed, drained. Roaring was his life, now what? He did want to get better, though so William completely stopped his roaring. It was not easy. Okay readers, let's put on our thinking caps. There are some hard words here. Distraught, depressed, and drained. What do you think those words might mean by looking at the words around those words and looking at the picture? Yeah, if you look at the picture and you look at the words sad and down, distraught, depressed, and drained are all other words or what we call synonyms, words that are similar in meaning to feeling really down and sad really really sad okay there were just so many opportunities to roar sigh sigh 
Why can't he roar? What's around his mouth? Yeah, William really wants to roar at the tacos or at the baseball game. But looks like his mouth is wrapped to keep him from roaring. As embarrassing as it was, poor William decided that he must live a life of silence. He sat in his chair and stared at the wall and drank cup after cup of chamomile tea with honey. Not roaring is so boring, thought William. Hey, those two words rhyme. In that sentence, what words sound similar in ending? I'll read it one more time. Not roaring is so boring, thought William. That's right, roaring and boring rhyme. Raise your hand if you like to drink tea with honey when you're sick or you see your parents and guardians drinking tea with honey when they're sick. Mm -hmm, me too. Now readers, let's think because reading is thinking. Why do you think William is thinking? It thinking like not roaring is so boring thought William and why the author didn't write said William right because William's mouth is shut tight he can't say he just has to think it's no fun when a dinosaur loses his roar even for a week on Tuesday William moped around his garden on Wednesday, William remained inside his house. On Thursday, William stayed under the covers all day. And on Friday, look at William's face, William could barely stand it. He had to roar again. Now, readers, before we go on to the next page, what do you think moped might mean? On Tuesday, William moped around his garden. Now looking at the picture and knowing how William must be feeling, I know moped can't mean run around happily or skip around joyfully. I think moped means like sadly dragged his feet around, just lurking around the garden. William went back to his doctor. It looks a little better, William, said the doctor. Still not great though. Rawr, asked William. You may roar, said the doctor, but if you roar too much, your throat will surely hurt again. Outside the doctor's office, William spotted the mailman, who smiled and waved. William waved back. Then he felt something bubbling up inside of him. William knew he shouldn't roar at the nice mailman, but he did it anyway. Roar! Because that's what dinosaurs do. Is he trying to be mean? No, that's just what dinosaurs do. I think it's his way of like saying hello, maybe, or nice to meet you. William spotted some kids at the playground. They were having a lot of fun. William liked fun. So he joined them on the swing and on the slide. And while he played, William knew he should not roar at all. He shouldn't roar at all, the kids. When, sorry, while he played, William knew he shouldn't roar at all kids but then he felt a new roar bubbling up until he just couldn't help himself because that's what dinosaurs do William spotted some people waiting for the bus he waited in fact dinosaurs don't like waiting and waited in fact they like roaring can you predict or guess what's gonna happen next yeah that's right Roar! Yep, that's what dinosaurs do. And William rode the bus all the way home. At a stop, the driver said, Have a nice weekend, William. William turned and smiled his nicest, toothiest smile. Then he roared in the driver's face. Roar! Jeez, what was that for? asked the driver. And there was only one answer to his question. Do you readers know what that is? That's what dinosaurs do. William had another great weekend. Rawr! 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 
Poor little squirrel. The townspeople gathered in front of William's house and demanded an apology. Even his doctor was there. But William wasn't sorry for Rory. Not one bit. You want to know why? Hey readers, can you predict what William will say? Why he should not apologize? Why does William say? What does William say every time? Because that's what dinosaurs do. Now, readers, can you fill in the blank for me? That's what children do. What is something that you feel like children do that we just as adults and teachers have to let you do? Because that's what children do. When I think of that, I think maybe run around. Or get your wiggles out. Or maybe play and jump. That's what children do. Readers, I had so much fun reading that book with you. Thank you for coming to Miss Read Alouds with Mrs. Na. And I hope you come back again for us to read more books and practice more reading skills together. Like today, we practiced inferring and predicting. Thank you and have a wonderful time. Bye.